Konya Rim. Öğrenciyim ve İstanbul Üniversitesi'nde Marina Shishka is one of hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians who had to leave their country after the Russian invasion of Ukraine last year. She has lived in Turkey for 11 months and is now learning Turkish. After I started learning the language, my life here became much easier. Now I can go to the mall or hospital by myself. This is also how I became friends with my Turkish neighbors. One of Shishka's classmates in the Turkish course is Marfa Alexeva, a Russian citizen. Since the start of the war, not only Ukrainians, but also hundreds of thousands of Russians have left their country, including Alexeva. I came to Turkey from Russia at the end of October because I wanted to live in a safe and quiet place after the war. I can stay here for a long time. That's why I wanted to learn Turkish. Now I can express myself at the bank, in the market, on the bus. The Turkish language class for Russians and Ukrainians is organized by the Eurasian Leader Women's Culture and Social Assistance Association in Izmir. The class was initially open for kids, but with a great interest, an additional one was organized for adults. Meeting twice a week, 24 students are enrolled in the Turkish class in the adults section. There is a huge wait list to enroll in the class. A completion certificate is needed for people who want to get a driver's license or to search for jobs in Turkey. I came here from the war between Russia and Georgia in 2008, and I understand their pain very well, but I know that speaking in a hate language is not a good thing. The class aims to integrate Russians and Ukrainians in Turkey. This common goal unites the people of two warring countries. I consider myself a patriotic person. I try to be friends with anyone who accepts me this way. I see everyone as human. Politics stay outside this door. For Sonar Kizilkaya and Oguljan Bakiller in Izmir, Turkey, Bejan Hamdart, VOA News.